What's going on guys? Welcome to another full transparency trading session where I am your host Sebastian and let's just start out by clearing the air. Let's get one thing clear. You cannot become a very good day trader just watching five minute videos, 10 minute videos. Okay, it takes time, preparation, and it's just, it's a process. And you have to understand that it is a process, right? You're not gonna turn on a video on YouTube or turn on, I mean, maybe somebody can. I won't say that no one can, but the average person is not gonna turn on a video on YouTube or TikTok or Facebook, watch somebody day trade for a few minutes, go, I can do that, and then start making hundreds of thousand dollars. You might get lucky and have beginner's luck like I did when I first started out, uh, but the journey is is just that. It's a journey. It's not easy at all. It goes to show you that it's not easy because if you go through like my videos, I have thousands, thousands of videos just going all the way back to the beginning of my journey, which started in February, guys. February of 2023. This is just February 2024 is when I started recording myself. But my journey goes back to February of 2023, where I was a completely different type of thousand in, I believe, a I month or whatever no the case is. I have no idea what I was just hit doing. A little bit closer Jesus. to where we would have been automatically kicked off. So let's go ahead and go back and look at Ninja Trader for a second there. So I had no idea what I was doing. I was doing completely random stuff. I'm buying a dollar, selling a dollar. I'm just, I'm all over the place in the very beginning. Everything was very different because I had no experience. So you can see this is my very first account. We've been over this video before, but this is when I started recording myself. At first I used to keep a journal, which I still keep a paper journal, but at first I used to keep a paper journal. And what you're seeing in these videos is not me trying to teach you how to day trade. You're just following my journey. If I'm teaching you things along the way, that is beautiful and I'm very happy for that because I do like to share what I'm learning as I'm learning it. But you're just watching my journey. My journey as a day trader and how I've grown from my very first Apex account to where I'm at now having uh, hit my 40th fund because what happened is you, you start with like the 50K accounts and I blew all those out, out of the way. And then once I started getting to the point where like, you can only make so much so fast with these. And they had a big old sale on like the 250s. And I was like, let me get 10. You know, they were like 1870 or whatever. So I got like 10 of them. And uh, I passed them. And then I just started replacing my 50Ks with those after they were paid out or whatever. And now I'm trying to, I did my very first 300. I just wanted to go back and just take you guys back to where it all started. This is where it began. This is Ninja Trader, which I absolutely friggin' hate. I hate Ninja Trader, not the company. The company is fine. I don't like this system. I, I never figured this out. This was like chaos and cacophony. All these screens on the screen. Like Trading View is super duper easy. I go over to Trading View. It's just a chart. I click on the button Trade. It brings up the screen here. I click a checkbox, a checkbox. I select how many contracts I want and I'm, I'm on off and pushing. I can be like, hey, I want 40 ticks versus 20 ticks, which is a two to one trade right there. And then I just click buy and I can go to market. I can click sell, same thing. I can do a stop, I can do a stop limit. I don't like stop and stop limit because they put you in at the closest next dollar and sometimes it's the wrong direction. But that's beside the point. But it all kicked off in the beginning and I had some earlier videos, but I had to make some space for some of the new videos. So I had to delete them, but it was always a similar thing like the next day I was at 472 and you're just following my daily journey as a day trader from where I started out when I didn't know much and I wasn't I wasn't doing great I was doing okay but before I got into futures and we'll get into why I chose futures that's the old me talking right there before I got into futures I was doing options right and the difference between futures and options is with options you have to deal with the Greeks. What are the Greeks? That's your theta, your delta. Here, I'll, I'll just Google it for you. What are Greeks? Day trading. Options, Greeks, okay? And and here they are. Delta, gamma, theta, vega, all of the all of the different Greeks, right? that you day trade with. And all that means is at the end of the day, your delta is a multiplier. It's like if you have one contract, you're gonna make like 
one dollar per dollar that you make if you have two contracts you're gonna make a dollar and one cent per dollar that you make 10 contracts you're gonna make a dollar and 25 per dollar that you make and it's just a multiplier your theta is time decay the longer you're in a contract for options the worse it gets for you basically over time as time goes on if it's not going in your favor you're going to be losing money and sometimes when it's going in your favor you're going to be losing money so what i eventually fell in love with with futures was the fact that it was just straight price action one thing i can tell you for darn sure is what direction the market is going to go for the day and then i just had to figure out where to take my trades from so that was my main focus when i started out was where do i trade from where do i trade from where do i trade from over and over and over again i obsessed over where to get into a trade and that is how I came up with all of these blue lines, plotting from the four hour time frame to the one hour time frame to the 15 minute time frame, noticing times of the day when the market moved very fast, like 2 p.m. in the afternoon, when the market was about to close, three o'clock or power hour as they call it, uh, when the market opens, when it has a correction at one or 12 o'clock. And I just kept slowly but surely figuring out all of these things. It was just one thing at a time, but I, I focused mainly on entries so focus number one was learning how to chart understanding the candles the flow the trend number two was entries number three was time frame analysis what time frames were doing what and that is where I, I got my start but like I said with with these short videos I'm not trying to teach you how to day trade I'm not trying to sell you on day trading I'm just documenting my journey and if you learn something from me that is excellent because I want to share the knowledge that I'm picking up as I'm picking it up. Do I know everything about day trading? Absolutely not. I'm only a year and a half into this thing. I'm clueless about so much stuff. But what I do know is what I do works for me. And it doesn't have to work for everybody else. As long as what you're doing works decently well for you and you can consistently turn a profit on it, keep doing that. If you find that you start day trading and it's very complicated and there's all sorts of jargon and, and nothing's working and then all of a sudden you turn a corner and you make $5 a day every day for a week. And then you start making $20 a day every day for a week. And then all of a sudden you spent a month making $150, $200, $1,000 a day. Because that is the goal of what majority of people who get into day trading are looking for, $1,000 a day, right? Because that sounds amazing. There's 250 trading, 251 to 253 trading days in a year. And you're like, I can make $250,000. Uh, don't forget that half of that is pretty much going to be taxed because it's short-term capital gains. That's for another video. But again, I want to keep these a little bit, even though these are a little longer than normal, I do want to keep it a little shorter. But it all started for me really a year ago. My first six months was a struggle. I was up and down and up and down, but mainly down. Uh, I was losing a lot of money. And then I turned a corner and I started to understand. And then that led me to... I got a coach, by the way, so I'm not going to say I didn't do this all on my own. I actually went and got a mentorship and got coaching, and that took me to another level. But at, even with coaching, you still got to put in the work. You know, even if you get coaching, even if you get help, you still have to put in the work. If you're not willing to put in the work, don't get into day trading. If you're not willing to, willing to spend your early time that you start day trading, spending hours and, you know, hours staring at these charts and understanding what you're looking at and reading don't go into day trading if you want quick money just go to a casino and try your hand at luck play some blackjack it's easier to play blackjack than it is a day trade this is not easy it's simple as someone once said this is simple but not easy it's not easy it's time consuming to learn but once you learn it, just like when you learned your first language, you didn't just come out, mama, daddy, hey, what's up, everybody? I'm forming full sentences. You started out with noises. Then you went to mama, dada, baba, etc. And then eventually you were like, hi, mommy. And then your mommy lost her mind. And then she was like, oh, my God, you're learning. But even from there, it wasn't until you reached grade school that you started really learning words. And then like darn near middle school when you had a decent vocabulary. So, I mean, unless you went to like some amazing Ivy League prep preschool, then by <laughs> you're probably doing rocket science at like four years old, but to each their own. But at the end of the day, what I'm saying is this is a process. It's just like learning a foreign language. You're going to take your licks. It's going to be hard at the beginning. It's not going to make sense in the beginning. But as time goes on, you'll start to pick up the lingo, pick up the different idiosyncrasies, and you'll start to understand. 
Give yourself time. Everybody wants to ask how long it took you to become a good day trader. How long did it take you to turn a profit? It took me a year to finally become a decent day trader. I still don't consider myself a great day trader because I'm still learning so much about day trading on a daily basis. Have I found success? Yes, because I simplified everything that I've learned so far into a very simple system. Be patient and wait as long as it takes for me to get to the ceiling or the floor, take my trade from there, it limits my risk and increases my rewards. And that's as simple as I could possibly get it for myself, right? But there's still a lot of intermediate stuff that I don't know that I'm still learning. Uh, I'm understanding of buy side liquidity, sell side liquidity, the change of character, you know, uh, everything, everything, all of the things that are in between the lines of where I trade is what I'm still learning. All the the main market structure things that that are within the lines of what I'm trading is what I'm learning. What causes things to reverse? So what I did was I focused on not so much what retail traders do, but what are the big guys doing? What do they have to do to make the market move, to move money and things like that? And through my studies, I figured out that, oh, if it comes down to a certain point, it'll stop, it'll reverse, it'll go back up a decent amount, and I can take that play. But all that is, is like, they have to be in agreement for this to happen. And we're not going to get into the whole conspiracy of how the market is run. But at the end of the day, there's perfection in it. There are exacts in it. Even looking back at this old chart, I can see now, I couldn't see then, but I can see now the exacts of the movement. We come up to here and stop, we fall down, we fall down to here and stop, we go up, we push down a little bit more. I start to understand how the flow of the market works. Once we finally hit that low level right there, we bounce and we go all the way back up. And then we, and you, you'll get it. Over time, you'll get it. I'm trying hard not to make these videos too long, but it's a lot to explain about how I got to where I am. But I, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great night. Happy Labor Day, everybody. We'll be back to trading on Tuesday. But in the beginning, it wasn't thousand dollar days. It was 50 bucks here a trade. It was 200 bucks in this trade, uh, $153 for the day, not, not a trade. It was for the day back then. But there'll come a turning point if you give yourself the patience and take the time to learn and study. There will come a turning point, I promise you, where you start to pick it up and where you start to really make money. And that is why I decided to go fund it was because it, it cost me so much to learn in the first place. The mentorship cost me a lot of money. The losses cost me a lot of money that I just didn't have money to put into trading further. So I was gonna have to give up trading from a standpoint of not being able to afford it financially, not because I wasn't understanding it, but because I no longer had the, the capital to keep going. And then that's where funding came in. And I was like, yo, I can get this account for 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever the case is, whatever I was paying for it at the time. And I can have $50,000 to play with, to learn. And that was a game changer for me because it took me, my first one took this one right here, took about six days to pass, right? Uh, and it, I got progressively better as it, as it went on. The second one only took like a couple days to pass. The third one took like three days. And then my fourth account took a day. And that was when I was like, oh, I can do this in a day. And on my fourth account, I was way over trading. And uh, uh, things we'll get into in a later video. I'm, I'm gonna stop here. Listen, take the easy money. You guys have a great night. Happy Labor Day. And we're gonna push it out. I'm just gonna stop here. Let's save this for another video. Ha, 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 ha.